we've been tossing around k or equilibrium constant values for a few videos now. Let's talk about what those values mean. So, and there will be three types of k values. There will be k values close to one, they'll be very large, and they'll be very small k values. And uh, as an example, uh, well, let's just start with the general. So an equilibrium constant uh, expression in terms of concentrations, the general version says that it's concentration of products raised to coefficients divided by concentration of reactants raised to the power of coefficients. And so uh, if the value of K is close to one, what it means is that the concentration of the products is approximately equal to the concentration of reactants. And um, we've seen examples of K values close to one before. Uh, first off, let me say, so uh, I think we can say one here. Yep, so uh, this, the exact relationship depends on the exponents on coefficients exponents and we're just broadly painting our view of equilibrium constant values and um, what we will say is that there are significant concentrations of reactants and products There are significant concentrations of reactants and products. Uh, and another term we'll use is that K, uh, when K is close to one, is that the reaction goes approximately halfway. Another way of saying that is that the reaction gets stuck in the middle. The reaction gets stuck in the middle. And now, because we have sort of a broad idea of what's happening for uh, when this is true, if Kc or Kp or what other ever k, other k values we see, if they're between one ten thousandth and ten thousand, that is values of k close to one. Which is a pretty broad range, it's actually eight orders of magnitude, 10 of the minus four to 10 of the plus four, but that's, that's a good rule of thumb when reactions are s somewhere in the middle. And uh, I guess, let me say, reaction goes approximately halfway, reaction gets stuck in the middle at equilibrium. That's, remember, these are all equilibrium constant expressions. Let me add that in, at equilibrium. Yes, and just to touch base with what we said earlier, equilibrium is where all reactions are going because it is the lowest energy uh, state for the reaction. Well, now that we've got some guidelines there, large values of K are generally going to be, so K greater than 10,000. And when this is true, we will say, that the reaction is product favored. That there are essentially only products at equilibrium.
essentially only products at equilibrium. Uh, let's see. So um, uh, reaction goes to completion. And we have to be careful here because no matter what, the reactants are in the denominator here. So the reactants cannot go to zero unless K or KC is infinite, which is never true. It can be functionally or close enough to being true. Um, but that's what I'm gonna write uh, goes to completion. It may appear to go to completion, but it may only go 99.9999999999999% there, which is close enough for me. Small values of K, zero less than one ten thousandth. Reaction is reactant favored. Essentially only reactants at equilibrium. And uh, we could say reaction goes nowhere. Reaction does not occur. Something along those lines.